Hey, what's up? It's your favorite funny man, comedian, Coop City, and welcome to another episode of Foodie and the Beast. Did you miss me? I know I said I already know you did. I am in Compton, California, my second hometown. I've been out here for about two years now, and I absolutely love it. And I pulled up on Bidia Gonzalez. Um, Y'all don't know what Bidia is. I do. It is marinated, shredded beef. Absolutely amazing. This is what they specialize in. So I had to pull up on my dogs, see what they got cracking. I got to show y'all. But as always, bring your wallet. Cause I ain't paying for y'all. Come on, let's go. Uh. Oh, you can see it in my face. I wasn't fucking with you. But you ain't talking about no money. I got something to do. I'm trying to park the Bentley truck right in front of the coupe. And keep my money to myself like Republicans do. See, I ain't tripping on the haters. It's a part of the game. If I ever do a crime, I hope they part my name. I've been getting money now, shit starting to change Don't try to come around a nigga like you part of the game Every time I'm in the spot, I get the seafood dish Jet skiing in Miami on some sea do shit Big homie told me you can never be too rich That ain't a queen, little nigga, that's a me too bitch Hey, listen, when the player talking, nigga, shut your mouth Play the game by the rules, it probably won't go south Got a pack on consignment and it must go out Rick James in the club, nigga, fuck your couch Hey, play your zone, bring your bitch, bring your home Ain't no fake, ain't no phone, show me, play your zone, play your zone, yeah, yeah, play your zone, play your zone, yeah, yeah, play your zone, bring your bitch, bring your home, ain't no fake, ain't no phone, show me, play your zone, play yeah. your zone. All right, guys, we are back for another episode of Foodie and the Beast. I'm super excited. I am in my second hometown, Compton. I've been living in Compton for about two years now, uh, and I haven't stumbled upon this crazy place, man. This is amazing. Uh, I am here with the lovely Selena, and we are at Biria Gonzalez. That, did I say that correct? Yeah. I told y'all I was half Mexican. They don't want to listen to me. But yes, yeah, so we are here, and we have an absolute smorgasbord of food. Uh, the wonderful Selena is going to uh, explain everything that we have um, and then we're going to get into just the history of Bidia Gonzalez. What is Bidia? Bidia is beef meat. Beef meat. Shredded beef. Shredded beef meat. Okay, mm -hmm. and is it prepared in a special way? or? Yeah, okay. it has its um, ingredients. Special recipe. Okay. Oh, we can't. <laughs> I family love, special recipe. I love family special recipes. Those are my favorite type of recipes because now I have to try to get it out of there because I want some of this at home. <laughs> All right. So first taco here. Take a look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one is. Queso taco. Cheese taco. Cheese taco. Cheese taco. All right. So is there a special way I'm supposed to eat this? Because I have been combing y'all Instagram. Uh, Everyone, you could dip it inside your consomme. Okay. And so then we have this is consomme, and then that is. Juice. It's the juice. Fun fact: the it's second, the beef broth. The beef broth. Mm -hmm. The second day I ever, when I first moved here, somebody gave me a cup of this, and I'm like, it's 78 degrees outside. Why are you giving me a cup of soup? And then I tried it, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Here's hangovers too. <laughs> I'm always hungover, Selena. So, yeah. <laughs> so let's. And this is cheese taco, queso taco. Okay, wow. That's juicy. A lot of times I go get, when I go get like beer from places, it's dry. Yeah. This ain't dry at all. Put the juice inside. So I remember when I was cooking them, I put the juice on top. Mm -hmm. So you pour it inside so it'll be nice and juicy. So you put the juice on top. Inside, yep. So it stays juicy all, at all times. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's good. Fresh, you can tell it's fresh. Um, I can't have tacos without cilantro and, and onion. Like, I think it should be against the law to eat tacos without cilantro and onion. What you think? I just like cilantro. I'm not an onion fan. Yeah, the onion, but you know what? You're fired. <laughs> I'm fired. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not an onion fan. I probably do this every week, but my trainer always tells me just taste the food, don't eat all of it. But I worked out today, so I'm eating all this. That's amazing. Queso taco. Cheese taco. Cheese taco for the people who don't speak Spanish like me and Selena because y'all stupid. <laughs> Alright, moving right along in my uh, absolute smorgasbord of um, Bidia. 
we have, look at this. Ooh, this is, this is a little freaky. I like that. Wait, what, 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 what taco is this one? That's a taco dorado. Taco Dorado? Dorado. 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 Hard, shell. hard shell. Hard shell. So they make these fresh. They make their own hard shell. They're not going to Walmart and picking these up. They're making these fresh on the grill. How long does it take you to, to make them? To cook to perfection, five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes. Okay, so if you come here and you want a Taco El Dorado, right? Mm -hmm. Taco El Dorado, you got to wait. Be patient, okay? Don't be coming here yelling at my girl Selena because you don't have no patience. But so this one you still can dip? You still can dip, yeah, okay? Sorry, it won't get soggy. Yeah, you know I'm gonna dip. That's always one thing about buying street tacos. They're always all soft. Yeah. So, you kind of be like, when you want a harsher taco, you either got to make it at home or go to Taco Bell. Some places, they pre-cook them. They have them already pre-cooked. So and then they just heat them up? They just throw them in the grill again, not us. Uh -uh. We don't do that. I literally watched her make them, like, two batches. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you see my arm? Oh my goodness, let's go. <laughs> wow. I love that crunch. And um, you dip it, it doesn't get soggy. If you guys notice, I'm two tacos in. I haven't put any sauce on this. And I'm a sauce brother. It's hot. I love spicy food. It's hot. We're going to get there. Spicy. But that's just how flavorful these are. You haven't even mm. put no lemon or nothing? Mm -mm. I haven't put no lemon or nothing. We're going to do that next time. But wow. Again, I wasn't going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. I'm going to get in trouble. Moving right along. I'm the happiest when I'm eating tacos, guys. Like, I don't need no girlfriend. I don't need no dog, no nothing. And so, so which one is this one? That's just a regular soft taco. Just a regular soft taco, okay. And so you were teasing me, because I didn't lemonize this thing last time. So let me, let me, let me lemonize it. And then let me hit him with this. And then what's, what we got here? We got red sauce. Red spicy. sauce, very spicy. So I'm gonna dab it. Cause I don't know the spice level yet. But I love spicy food though, right. so we're gonna see if it's spicy or not. You know, Selena be lying. Mmm. It's smoky. I love that smokiness, so. I'm guessing what habanero. No habanero? Serrano? Lena, you better go with these secrets, girl. I like that. It's roasted, though. It's roasted. Roasted mm. chili. That's what you taste that in. Like that smokiness. It's like a, it's like a chipotle, but on steroids. Like. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told you it was spicy. Mm. I told you I love spicy food. That's, that's it for me. I like that. Mmm. And you guys make that fresh every yeah, day. Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Why y'all ain't tell me y'all was here beforehand? Got me over eating. It's been a year and a half we've been here. We've been here. Since I've been living in college for two years. Y'all got me eating little crackhead tacos from down the street. Nope. We gotta read back with our friendship. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I didn't know I was gonna get dessert. You know, she's taking me on a lovely date. Now I feel like the belle of the ball. Um, what do we have here? Let me show you guys this here. This is sexy. I have no idea what it is though. It looks like a little bit like a bread pudding, but maybe not. What do we What do we got here? Chocolate cake and then flan at the top. So it's called choco flan. Are you telling me that y'all have a hybrid flan? And then flan is is it's the like a pudding almost like. That. It's um yeah. Okay. So flan at the top and. Chocolate bread at the bottom. Oh my goodness. We buy these already made from a company. Okay, and then this is from Chuyitas? Chuyitas. I am picking up, let's go. Duolingo, guys, it's absolutely free. I'm picking the language up, and basically, uh, I'm about to have a dual citizenship and buy a house in Ensenada because that's pretty much how I'm, how I'm rolling here. So this is. Choco flan. Ch choco, choco flan. Moist. Oh yeah. It's moist. It is moist. Let me get in here. Ooh. 
they also have um, flan. They got strawberry cheesecake. And then they have, um, it's called Herikaya, which is like pudding. Okay. And this is delivered to you guys every day? Yeah. They deliver it twice a week. Okay. This, it tastes fresh as hell. And you know I know fresh. Mmm. Wow. And then flan is made with what? It's made with um, a lot of sugar, milk. <laughs> a lot of sugar. <laughs> a lot of sugar, milk. Um, what else? Flour. What else they put in that? Evaporated milk. Okay. Now, are you, um, what's your favorite, like, dessert? Like, what's your favorite? From here? Mm -hmm. It'll be the strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry well, cheesecake. Yeah, okay. I like cheesecake. Mm, that's good, my though. second choice. That's my second choice. I've had flan before. Because I like flan and then I like the chocolate bread as well. Okay, I've had flan before. I've never had it with, with, with chocolate cake in the bottom. That's really good. I mean, that's good. I know y'all jealous. Mm. I can't have an amazing meal without something to wash it down with. Like, that would be actually blasphemous. Uh, what do we have here in this beautiful purple and you know purple is the color of royalty so what is this royal drink what do we have here it's called jamaica jamaica and jamaica is uh spanish for hibiscus right hibiscus flowers okay yep so you guys make this fresh you grind enough the, the we, we get the flowers already made and then we just boil them okay so when they start boiling it turns real purple okay and then you just drain them out the flowers just add the sugar, mix it up. So just sugar, water, and hibiscus, hibiscus flour. That's that, simple. This, this Mexican Kool Aid. <laughs> right. This is Mexican Kool Aid. Yeah. It's good and it's good for your kidneys as well. It's refreshing. It's good for your kidneys. How much sugar is in it though? Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot of sugar. Cause you said it was a lot of sugar. And the flan, yeah. And the, flan. the flan has a lot of sugar. <laughs> so this is healthy. This is, this yeah. is healthy. Okay. I can. I can taste like a, um, you know how some, you, you can smell something, so you kind of can almost taste it. I can smell, I can taste like how a flower, like a biscuit would, would smell, and it's delicious though. I don't know if that was like a weird way to explain that, but I felt like it was spot on. Absolutely refreshing. I feel like I would love this uh, hungover. It's really good. This with a little bit of this? Yeah. That with the, with the chili inside, it was great. So you guys put chili in this? Yeah, if you put the chili in then you mix it up, you hang over. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you like, makes you sweat. Yeah, I need that. So put this in there. Yep. Boom, okay. Yeah. The computer oh, man. Yeah, and I need that because I'm getting drunk this weekend. Sure. Okay. All right, uh, Selena, I gotta say thank you so much for having me um, for my first time here at Video Gonzalez. Uh, I'm extremely happy. I'm very happy because y'all are right down the street from me, and so now this is gonna be my spot. They're gonna get mad at me. I'm gonna come. They're gonna be at them. What time y'all open? Eight. Every day? Every day. Guess who's watching their football games here? Yeah, we have all <laughs> me. The games here. Can football. I bring beer in here? No. Damn. Okay. No, we, we was try I tried it. I tried it. <laughs> but everything was absolutely delicious. I'm so happy that you guys are right down the street. How long have you guys been open? We've been here. It was a year in April. A year in oh, April. A year in April. Okay. And then this is the second location because there's a... No, this is actually the fourth location. Fourth location. First location Ooh. is Adams and Maple. Okay. South Central. And then the second location is on Whittier Boulevard, okay. City of Commerce. Yep. And then the third location is Compton Lunch Truck. Okay. We're over here on Rose and Atlantic. Then the fourth location is Vernon, City of Vernon. Okay. Then the fifth location is the restaurant here. Mm -hmm. And then it's um, the lounge. So you guys uh, a lounge? We have a lounge. Yeah. We have a lounge right in front of um, the... With your lunch truck, there's mm -hmm. a Target. Right next door, there's a very big lounge. You gotta go, it's really nice. Really? It's really big. Okay, so I thought this was just the, the only one. So obviously, if you have up to which the six locations. Five this, lunch trucks and three restaurants. Five lunch trucks and three, restaur three restaurants. Yeah. If you got that many locations, this place, like, that speaks for itself, guys. This place is absolutely amazing. You gotta come try it. Um, you guys are open from 8, 8 a.m. to? Here in the restaurant from 8 to 10. Okay. And Fridays and Saturdays till 11. Okay. The lunch truck's open till midnight. Okay. Okay. So you can, you can still get some late night eats. You're not going to get your 2 a.m.s, your 3 a.m., 4 a.m.s. 
but you can get your late night eats. What you can do is come down here, get your stuff early, have it all ready at the house, and when you come back, boom, you eat. So, yeah. man, everything was absolutely amazing. Um, what's your favorite thing on the menu? My favorite is the vampiro. Vampiro. You didn't try that yet. Yeah, I didn't try the vampiro, but the vampiro is, that's the, um, um, you have the uh, tortilla that's tostada, fried. Tostada, tostada, tostada. With the cheese melted on top. Ooh, okay, yeah. okay. I'm coming back for that one. I am coming back for that one. Cool, cool, cool. And how long have you been associated with Video Gonzalez? Um, and did you work at the lunch trucks, at the trucks and stuff? Yeah, I worked at all the locations. Okay. I work at all of them. I go around, supervise them. Make sure I run this one, Compton. Okay. And um, pretty much in all of the locations. Wonderful. Yeah. So Selena is the go-to when you need something here, or is she the go-to to kick your ass out if you're here acting up and your debit card not working or something? <laughs> you're not getting that free up in here. So thank you so much once again. I really appreciate you. Uh, and unfortunately, this isn't the last you're going to see of me. I'm going to get on your nerves because I absolutely love you this place. You can come. You can come as many times as you want. Thank you. I really yeah. appreciate it. So I'm coming. It. Uh, I live right down the street, and uh, I'm going to eat everything. So I can't wait. I'm super excited, man. But as always, bring your wallet, because Selena not paying for y'all. <laughs> All right. What are you doing? Subscribe. Right there. Not you, ma. <laughs> bring your home. Ain't no fake. Ain't no phone. Show. Play your zone. Play your zone. Yeah, yeah. Play your zone. Play your zone. Hey. Yeah, yeah.